Let's continue on with our strings data type and talk about the escape sequence. I have here a list of different types of escape uh, sequences that you can do and their meanings. So we're just going to test those over here and we're only going to do a few because most of these you can't really see unless you're putting together a large string document. So we have, uh, I have print hello world and I'll hit enter here in the shell. Prints hello world, just like we'd expect. But let's say we have um, print hello world with a slash in it. So let's just do a normal slash, whatever, and we hit enter. That works. And what happens if we do a slash this way? We come up with an error. Because what's, what's happening here is this tells the interpreter to actually use this, the next character here, as part of the string. And if it does that, that means that there's nothing left to close off the string. So you'd get an error. So what you'd have to do is escape this right here by just doing two in a row. And then you would do it, it wouldn't affect this last little quote mark and everything would be fine. So that's sort of doing the backsplash, we're escaping the backsplash. We have new line here, which we'll also give a try, sort of skipped over that. If I just do a backslash and then say new line. Now what has happened here is it's gone with the current version of new line, which would just be this backsplash n here for line for line feed. So if you want to do a new line, what we do is just do this n and you have your new line just like that. Alrighty? And if you want to get rid of the um, the space, you just get rid of that space there. So let's go back here and do this list. We got single quotes. We'll just enter that in here. So let's say I want to have a single quote right here. What I can do is backslash, put the quote in, and that way it's not going to look at that quote to, to end this um, group here, or that pair. It's going to still have the pair wrapping the outside, and it's escaping this one just to use inside of our string. So we can enter. Whoops, I think I must have done something there. Bear with me. I think I hit enter. So we go, so we have the hello world, and we escape that single quote there and even though we're wrapping in single quotes it doesn't affect it because of that escape of the backslash and this allows us to mix our uh, single quotes and double quotes inside of our string so we have single quote double quote double quote single quote and it all just works and because we're escaping the characters that would probably make this an invalid string the next here is the bell symbol now this is uh, typically use a, a, a bell symbol is it like an audible sound in here they're using a just because they're calling it like an alert because uh, B is already taken up so they couldn't use B for bell so they're just calling a for an alert and it just has like a ring that that sends off we can't test it here like if I did print it's not going to make any sound you'd want to do that through the terminal if you do it through the terminal it'll actually will do a little ring for you We'll do backspace, which these ones coming up here, these are more for when you're doing large documents, when you're doing, like you'd have a formatted Word document that would have backspaces, form feed, line feed, which is just a new line. We have carriage returns, we have horizontal tab, we have a vertical tab. All these things are done in a formatted document, and it won't really work here in the shell to show you, but I'm sure you recognize some of the names. And the way that you do it in the code is you have these little symbols, or these escape sequences, that tells the string what to do. Um, so we have, you know, backsplash B for backspace, F for form feed, N for new line, we have uh, T for tab, R for carriage return, and uh, V for vertical tab. And if you ever turned on in your um, Word documents or anything like that, you can actually have a setting where you can view all of these little escape characters and you can see where they're placed. Uh, and it's pretty helpful to see how that all works. We also have some stuff that's just for Unicode only, like character uh, named a name in a Unicode uh, database. Then we have characters with 16-bit hex values we could um, have in here. We have characters with 32-bit hex values right there. We have, um, that's that vertical tab. Then we have characters with octal value of 000. And then we have character um, with hex value of HH. So these are just a whole bunch of escape lines. We're not gonna get into this basic course. The main ones you wanna understand is new line you'll probably use quite a bit. These ones you probably won't use in programming Python for what we're doing. We're not doing large string documents, so it's not a big of a deal. Bell you probably won't use. Now these three right here you might get into. Single quotes, double quote, and backsplash. If you want those in your strings all mixed together, you may want to be escaping to uh, allow that. And this new line is ignored. You don't use that anymore. You just use this backsplash n. All right, I just want to quickly do uh, one more thing here. 
I forgot about. We talked about raw strings and Unicode strings in the last um, video, putting an R in front of uh, hello world, right? And that would be a raw string. So if we went and tried to escape something in that, it doesn't actually perform the same way that we were just doing. So we'll do like back uh, backslash, we'll do N for that. Let's hit enter. And you'll see it, the raw string actually doesn't do what, what we think it's going to do. It actually escapes that entirely. And we can do that with Unicode and try doing that. And again, it, it just takes the string as we've written it as a string. It doesn't actually do what uh, the meaning of this symbol right here. All right. So keep that in mind if you do raw strings or Unicode strings. This is actually really useful when you're dealing with web applications uh, where, you, where you need this sort of uh, part of the string to be there. You don't want it to actually execute the meaning. So keep that in mind. Also, throughout the video, if I've been saying backsplash, <laughs> I don't want to redo the whole video. So it is just backslash. I might have slurred the word a little bit. But anyways, talk to you later.